extensive testing conducted by geoengineeringwatch.org, both on the ground and in the air, have confirmed that at minimum, highly toxic climate engineering elements like aluminum, barium, strontium, manganese, polymer fibers, surfactants, and more are being dispersed by climate engineering aircraft in disguise all over the world. Geoengineeringwatch.org has now identified science studies that examine and promote the element of graphene for use as an artificial ice nucleation element. Processes of artificial ice nucleation for weather modification have long since been a primary component of the ongoing climate engineering operations, though even now, very few are aware of this aspect of climate engineering operations. The patent shown is referred to as the Nolenberg patent. It outlines one method of artificial ice nucleation for weather modification. Translated, seeding cloud moisture with toxic ice nucleating elements in order to create a surface cool down. Such winter weather whiplash events are generally highly sensationalized by corporate media. The climate engineering factor is, of course, never mentioned. Again, this critical question, is graphene oxide being used as one of the many highly toxic climate engineering elements that have already been identified? By seeding cloud moisture with artificial and chemical ice nucleating elements, the weather makers trigger an endothermic or energy absorbing reaction and thus are able to engineer extensive and often extreme surface cool downs. This is often in spite of previously far above freezing temperatures in a surrounding region. Weather whiplash swings of temperatures are the result. There are numerous and increasing recorded scenarios of record high temperatures to record low in a single day. This is not nature. It is the result of chemical ice nucleating operations. The climate engineers have consistently utilized artificial ice nucleation operations seeded into cloud moisture to create surface cool downs while ionosphere heater microwave transmissions from facilities like HARP in Alaska continue to fry other regions under artificially created domes of atmospheric high pressure. Again, the sold out so-called science community has now condoned the use of graphene oxide as an artificial ice nucleation element without consideration of the consequences to human health and the entire web of life. We are literally under assault from above. The ramifications are grave and immediate. Not only are the planet's protective atmospheric layers and life supports. Now, I know this is just anecdotal evidence, but here in Toronto, uh, last night, it's been raining for a couple days straight. Uh, they projected 70 millimeters over uh, like 60 hours. And the weather report said it was 15 degrees Celsius, but it felt more like 5 degrees Celsius. Honestly, uh, I could see my breath, and it wasn't even the coldest point of the night when I started to be able to see my breath. Systems being completely compromised, every breath we take contains an ever increasing amount of highly toxic elements that are extremely bioavailable and bioaccumulative. If nanoparticulates of graphene oxide are, in fact, already being used for artificial ice nucleation operations, What's to stop the controllers from utilizing the graphene particles for biological carrier platforms as well? Answer, nothing. At any point of their choosing, the controllers can wage all-out biological warfare against populations via the existing climate intervention atmospheric aerosol spraying operations. Though we face countless challenges and threats, we must first focus on priorities. If we can't inhale, without sucking in highly toxic nanoparticles, we face a fight for life, nothing less. The entire web of life and the planet's life support systems face the same threat. Reaching a critical mass of awareness is the only way forward in this fight. See the activist suggestions link on the homepage of geoengineeringwatch.org to learn specific details on how to help in this urgent effort to sound the alarm. Share credible data from a credible source. Make your voice heard, make every day count. This is Dane Wigington with geodreamwatch.org.